I got to whoop something on you that's real nice. You're going to like this. This has been out in Excel getting transformed for maybe a month or two. So it's relatively new. We've got this data. It's in two cells. All of these different colors separated by commas. And we need them in a column. A lot of times we might ask for data, right? We want it in a nice column. And then we get this. And this is one of those moments where you might excuse yourself, go to your car, and come back with your soul. But we don't have to do that anymore. No. In native Excel, what we would have to do with something like this is do text to columns. It'll wind up going way out to the right, scrolling, and then we'd have to highlight the whole thing, transpose, and because it's two cells, we're going to wind up with two crazy rows and two columns after the transpose, and then we got to stack those on top of each other. We don't have to do that. Here's what we're going to do. Go to data from table slash range. The table does not have headers. That's fine. Here's what the data looks like. If we were to stretch this out, yes, the data is all here. It's just all in a row. Now watch this. Split column by delimiter. And I'm going to split it by custom because there is a comma and a space. Advanced options. Here we go. Into rows. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. Look at that. All right. Let's close and load this to the workbook. Whoa. Look at that. 122. All done. The commas are gone. Everything is all stacked up. We've got what we want. And the person who gave this to us and thought we were going to have fits with it, They did not get that pleasure. Let's look at something else. Here we have students divided up into classes. We know the instructor, the room, and how they're divided up. And here again, we have this group is all in one cell separated by commas. And we would like to do a join that will tell us what instrument does Kenneth play? Kenneth plays bass. That's the kind of thing we want to get at. We can't do it like this, but you know what we're going to do. Split into rows. All right, let's do that. Data from table slash range. I'll highlight this. This is beautiful. Watch, watch what happens because we could anticipate that we're going to have to do a fill up or a fill down, but watch this. Split column by delimiter. Custom, comma space, split into rows. Okay. Ah, we don't have to fill up, fill down, nothing. It's all set. Let's close and load this to the workbook. Let's put it right here. Okay. Now let's make our join and we have to do that by making a query here for the instrument and student data set. Okay. Data. Okay. And I'm going to close and load this as a connection only. Now let's do our join. I'm going to click here and go to this query. Merge queries, table three, and we're doing a left outer join because we want to look at Kenneth, find Kenneth and bring back instrument. All right. And then we want to match up group with student. Okay. Expand. We don't need student anymore. Okay. We've got it. That's what we wanted split by delimiter into rows so sweet and i'll see you in the next video